Hello and welcome to Lincoln to Local. I'm Hannah Nimichak here with John Collison in Washington, D.C., where we're experiencing the nation's capital. John, we've been talking about it being a new era here in D.C. for months, and now we're experiencing, our, experiencing it ourselves. Yeah, we are. You know, we were over at EPA yesterday. Um, EPA, the place we've never been. We didn't even know where it was. We've got a new administrator, a familiar name to us, Scott Pruitt. We've been talking on Lincoln to Local now for a while about Scott Pruitt, but now it's in place. And we've been over there and we see regulations already coming off the books. Waters of the United States, clean air, fuel standards, all these onerous regulations that have been hampering us in agriculture for years are now coming off the books. It was so great and wonderful yesterday to go over to EPA, uh, work with Administrator Pruitt, Chief of Staff Ryan Jackson over there, um, and we look forward to continuing that. We're going to. Um, it's a new day in Washington. It's, it's, a, it's a new day with President Trump. It's a new day in agriculture. We just came off the Hill. We met with all of our senators, all of our congressmen. The optimism in Washington, D.C. is awesome. Um, and I think for our members back home and, and, and people in the Farm Bureau, um, you have a lot of things to expect. You have a big day ahead of us. Um, and we're working on those issues up here to make sure the future of agriculture is bright. And we're going to make sure that Oklahoma's ag is awesome. So for years, we've come to D.C. and played defense. We've been fighting regulations. What, do we, what does it look like now that we're playing offense? You know, it's, it's so amazing to come up here and work on offensive issues. Uh, we have worked on defense the whole time. But today, we're working on infrastructure needs. President of the United States, our congressmen, our members are trying to find money. We're going to repeal the health care. That's billions and trillions of dollars that are tied up in this health care act. They're working hard every day to get that act cleaned up. Once that act's cleaned up, we can work on the tax code, and then we can get back into things that government's supposed to do, like infrastructure needs. We talked to Congressman Cole, we talked to Congressman Russell, Senator Inhofe, Langford, the whole delegation. They all know that infrastructure, water infrastructure, America's inland waterways are important. So those things are gonna happen. It's not gonna happen tomorrow, but it is happening today. We're moving forward. We're looking forward to moving America forward. And Oklahoma Farm Bureau is gonna be a part of that. We're gonna be at the table and we're gonna be in line making sure we're moving Oklahoma Farm Bureau forward. So how can uh, Oklahoma farmers and ranchers be involved in this process? You know, be paying attention. Um, come to us with ideas. Be involved in Oklahoma Farm Bureau. We got our meetings coming up in April and August and the rest of this year. There's never been a more important time to be a member at Oklahoma Farm Bureau. We have a few years to get this done, honestly. We have years and years of neglect that we have to fix in this country. Under President Trump, Administrator Pruitt, Senators Inhofe, Langford, and our congressional delegation, we can do that. This town is open for business. That hasn't been the case for years and years up here. This town, Washington, D.C., this capital is open for business. We're up here today. We're at American Farm Bureau right now. We're starting new, and we're looking forward to making America move forward. Thanks, John, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Lincoln to Local.